Hey there, what's up guys? Good morning. We're at nine o'clock on a Saturday morning. I'm out hitting the yard sales. So. And I had a great day at the yard sales. I was so happy I had to just keep taking pictures of myself with my stuff. Uh, I found a whole bunch of Funko Pops there. I'm going to talk to you guys about those here in just a second. Okay, boy, like I said, I well, first of all, Labor Day weekend, as you resellers uh, probably know, I, far from what I can tell, a lot of people had a really good weekend. I had a fantastic weekend. I was super excited to go out yard selling today because past few weekends, uh, my son has had football and stuff going on, and I haven't been, out, been able to go out yard selling. So I was like, you know what? I'm ready. I'm going to take some extra money with me. I want to buy a whole bunch of stuff. I want to start stocking up for winter uh, and that kind of thing because, you know, you got a list to make money. So let me talk about the first sale that I went to today. And uh, we're just going to, you know what? Should I do that last? Now, nah, let's just go ahead and do it now. What the heck? <laughs> so um, it wasn't necessarily the first sale I went to, but it was probably the best sale that I had today. So uh, I ended up uh, going to the same house. And this is the third time that I went to a yard sale, uh, these ladies' house. Um, she ended up being like a faculty member, member in our city uh, for one of the school districts or whatever. And I saw her at my son's football game. She recognized me for going to the yard sale. She's like, hey, you going to come back? Uh, to the yard sale again. I said, yeah, sure. And I asked her and I said, do you have any more of those wine filters? And if you remember last summer, yeah, it was this past summer, I think I went by her house and I got these wine filters. They're no more wine headaches, the wand wine filter things. I paid a buck for these the last time at her yard sale. I only bought seven of them, but I sold them all really fast between 17 and $20 free shipping. So I asked her, do you have any more? And come to find out she did, she had 15 of them. She sold them to me for 15 bucks. Again, these go from $17 to $20 plus shipping and they sold really fast. People were buying like more than one of these. Uh, so yeah, so like I said, 15 of them. If I get, gosh, I don't know, if I get $15 a piece uh, on those at least, I mean, you're looking at, you know, uh, pretty good profit right there. So uh, that's awesome. So yeah, big bag of those. And then I really didn't see too much else that she had. Um, but I heard her mention something about, um, cause I don't know if they kind of do their own buying and selling thing. There's a lot of party gifts and that kind of thing. Some of that stuff I wasn't too into, but then I guess her son, uh, had a whole bunch of Funko Pops and he was selling, uh, for $3 each or two for $5. So I'm looking at them and there's not like a whole lot, um, ones that like really stood out and I'd have to look up every single one of these to really know what the value of them are. But, uh, I ended up counting them, excuse me there. Here's a stranger things. One's got 11. Uh, there was some that I saw comped out at like $8, somewhere around 15. I had one somewhere around here. Those around $25. So I got to really look through. There might be some really volatile ones here. There might be some just average ones here, but I've got like six here in this bag. I got this giant bag full of Funko Pops. And then this giant box just chock full of Funko Pops. So yeah, there ended up being exactly 60 of them. Uh, I think this Inspector Gadget one was went around 25 bucks. But what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm not gonna take everyone out now. I'm gonna get these sorted out and I'm gonna put these over where I get my pictures taken. And I'm gonna sort them out and I'm gonna display them and I'll video record so you guys can see exactly like what I was able to buy, um, that kind of thing. And then we'll kind of take another video of them and I'll see what I got and we'll go from there. But let's go with the figures. So five, $60, uh, five, you know, two for five, that would have been 150 bucks I was thinking in my head. Um, and I know the kid, I obviously with these Funko Pops, I wanna get them for around like a dollar or less, I mean, uh, that's, that's the steal really there because on average, if this is like your Scorpion sells for probably eight bucks, I'd probably be able to get eight bucks for this. No problem. Okay. So that's what I'm figuring. I'm figuring if I sell each of these and I only get $8, how much money am I going to make? Okay. So that's around, if I buy 60 of them, you sell them for eight bucks, that's what, $480, 
give or take, figure fees and everything, $430, maybe less. Take, uh, you know, all everything else. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to offer them 100 bucks because there's people looking through them. Um, there's people, some in, in their hands and that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm like, it's one of those situations that I wish I could have had my camera on, but oh well. Uh, so I said, would you want to do uh, $100 for all of them? And the mom looks at the kid and the kid's like, sure. So I bought 60 Funko Pops for a hundred bucks. That puts them at like $1.66 a piece. Uh, a little bit more than I'd like to pay for a Funko Pop. Uh, but like I said, if I sell all of them at eight bucks, you're going to figure $450 in sales minus my $100 uh, and everything. So we're figuring a $350 profit on these spend a hundred bucks make th over three hundred dollars uh yeah yeah I'll, I'll take it so that's a pretty good deal there and funko pops sell they do pretty good uh i mean some of these might sit for a little while but for the most part they sell all right let me show you the next sale i went to uh had some pretty good stuff um this old model i haven't looked it up yet it's been opened uh these models they do pretty good uh, monogram. This is a Lamborghini. Uh, it looks like all the pieces are in it. it. Hasn't been put together yet, but it is open. Only paid a buck for that. So that's pretty nice. Uh, then they had, and this is one of those things where I was so excited to get them all up in my hand, but I didn't realize how dirty this was when I bought it, but it's pretty dirty. But these old trolls, if you remember them, this is 1991. So yeah, this one had the jewel in the belly, but it's legs, it's arm. I might try to throw this in a wash maybe, or I don't know. I have to look up how these things are clean because that's kind of nasty. I don't know. But these sell. These sell pretty good. I got this troll plus some little ones right here. And then I saw, oh my gosh, sorry guys. I saw this, an AC adapter, which you're thinking, you know, why buy an AC adapter? These sell on eBay, guys. You'll pick these up cheap at yard sales. I bought these for a quarter, 50 cents, and sell them for $10 or more plus shipping. But I like this one because it says Sony on it. And you type in that model number and everything, and somebody, like, if this goes to some video camera or something like that, they'll want the exact AC adapter for their video camera. They'll pay close to 15 bucks for this. So that's a good buy. And then I saw this old Wilson um, cassette player. Check that out. That's pretty cool. It's in pretty good shape too. I haven't tested it yet. Um, I don't even know how to open this thing. There's probably an eject button or something, or maybe just maybe I'll just end up breaking it trying to get it open. I don't know. So anyway, that's pretty cool. So then I thought, well, these headphones would go good with it. So I'm just gonna pair these together. They're unopened headphones. Um, unless these are Bluetooth. Oh, they are. I'm an idiot. Well, I might have some other headphones uh, to go with this anyway. So I got this, then I got some Bluetooth headphones. So all together, oh, I almost forgot the most important thing. And then I was looking through these hardback books and I saw a whole bunch of these Star Wars Fate of the Jedi books, right? So all those, uh, these books, the trolls, the model, AC adapter, the Walkman thing, the, the tape player, the headphones, she said 20. I said, would you be willing to do 15? She said, yes. So $15 for all that stuff. I saw comps for these books and I'll throw it up. This isn't the whole set, but a set like one through nine sold for $200. So, if I can get just a hundred bucks for that, yeah, that's great. So that's pretty good there. All right, so, so far, like I said, guys, good stuff here. Uh, let me show you some other stuff. I gotta grab it real quick. All right, I'm back. A lot more stuff <laughs> to do, so. Um, what's in, ooh, still works, I didn't know that. I never got into Barney. Well, it was kind of before my, you know, after my time of being young, but I remember it annoyed me. But Barney toys, they sell on eBay. Who would have thought? So we got that guy. Um, 
I bought a 10 key calculator for a dollar. This one in particular sells for like 25, 30 bucks. So that's pretty good. I'm running out of room here, guys. She threw in some paper for it. And then I picked up these little stubby screwdrivers uh, for a dollar. Uh, those do pretty good on eBay. We got another sale. I spent seven bucks on was this video game Fallout 3. This hat, they had a whole bunch of Boeing, McDonald, Douglas stuff. Um, two bags of these Callaway Soft Flight golf balls. I think that was it at that sale. So those are all really good stuff. And my first sale I went to, I got a vintage, I think it's a vintage, L.L. Bean coat. So that's pretty nice. This one, plus an L.L. Bean Carnigan sweater. This one's actually pr really pretty nice. I don't know if it's vintage. They wrote their name on all the tags, unfortunately. And then another L.L. Bean coat. Uh, so those were all a quarter apiece. <laughs> Gotta love that price. Then I got a Nike uh, Illinois uh, windbreaker. That was $2. So I gave her 3 bucks. For all this stuff so that's great let me show you what i got at goodwill Get this in here so goodwill today did real good at goodwill too uh, i sold or i didn't sell i'm gonna sell i got a velbon um, tripod these tripods do pretty good i just sold one um about a couple weeks ago for 60 bucks free shipping and it cost me like $14 excuse me to ship this one I paid $9 for but I'll do the same thing with this one probably $60 free shipping those do good I got a Kansas City Royals hat two bucks for that one bunch of Pokemon VHS never see these at Goodwill that's pretty awesome these were 20 cents a piece so I'm going to lock these all up together, sell them all together. So that's pretty cool for those. Uh, I saw this little guy here. This is a, a ninja. He's like a pro gamer uh, on, he used to be on Twitch. I don't know what form of media he's on now. It was two, no, this was actually 75% off of $2. So yeah. So what does that make that? What, 50 cents? Yeah. Bought this for 50 cents. Uh, you know, I'm trying to up my shoe game. Got some nice Asics here. I'll clean these all up. But these were five bucks. Uh, these will look really nice once I shine them up. And then some Under Armors. Same deal. Top looked to be in really good condition. A little bit of wear in the bottom, but I'll shine all these up. And these were five bucks. So that's good. And the last item was this cassette player. My brother-in-law messaged me, asked me if I had any cassette players. Uh, but I guess he's looking for something just to play cassettes and I happen to find this one in Goodwill today I got to test the cassette player the radio works. So, uh, this is probably gonna go to him. I only paid five bucks for it It says 20 on here, but 75% off. So five bucks All right So let me show you guys I'm gonna get those Funko Pops stacked up and I'll show you what we're looking at All right, so here's two bags of them. Uh, I went ahead and stacked them up so you guys can see what we're working with here I do have a lot of Conan O'Briens, so I don't know how much those go for. I've got some Star Wars ones, Toy Story, There's some unique ones in here. Umbrella Candy, that's a show on uh, Netflix. We got some Stranger Things, He Man, that's pretty cool. It brings me back. There's a Prince William one, so there are some unique ones in here. Bram Stoker's Dracula, recognize that guy from all. Alfred E. Newman from Mad Magazine, Tommy Boy. Uh, Riverdale ones, more uh, Stranger Things, Adam's Family, Star Wars, Han Solo. So there you go, a scorpion over there. So here's the first wave. All right, here's all the second batch. It was all in that big box there. Here they are in all their glory. <laughs> it's pretty cool when you get them all laid out and everything. I'll show you what we have here starting at the bottom. Jughead Jones, that's Riverdale. Uh, well, Archie Comics, I guess, originally. But, I mean, that's from the movie or the uh, show Riverdale on 
uh, Netflix, Stranger Things on Netflix, got Nancy, Pierre Lagarde, we got Andy Stitzer, 40 year old virgin. Uh, looks like he's got the little thing there. I haven't seen a movie in a while, but I do remember it being pretty funny. Then we got number five, Umbrella Camera. We got some more uh, uh, Stranger Things, Inspector Gadgets, some more Conan. Got some Simpson stuff here. We got Duffman and Barney Gumble, more Conan. Got some Fortnite stuff, some Disney, Jasmine there. Another Stranger Things, Lars Ulrich from uh, Metallica. Candyland, let's see, that one right there, I looked it up, about 25 bucks for that one. Uh, we got Inside Out, Anger, we got Joey Tribbiani from Friends, that one's pretty cool. More Stranger Things, Riverdale. We got Gamer Mickey, that's pretty neat, a Wonder Woman one, some more Coleman, Coleman, Conan. Uh, Stranger Things right there, and Jughead Jones. So there you go. Uh, like I said, these on average sell for about eight bucks a piece, but there are some that sell between uh, 15 and 25. So hopefully I find some good ones. All right. So here's my sales for the week or so. I don't know how many days I had there. Uh, it's in no particular order. So I try to do a quick for you guys. So here they are. Enjoy. Then in tote C. Oh, I'm going to have to take this. I sold this Banana Republic shirt. I'm going to wrap it up in my little plastic sleeve that I normally do. Uh, but I bought this for four bucks at Goodwill, sold it for ten dollars plus shipping. All right, then we got this FJ, this Foot Joy uh, golf polo, got this at Goodwill for four dollars, sold it for twelve dollars and forty cents plus shipping. We got this old Power Rangers Imagine X playset, got this at Goodwill, I think I paid three or four dollars for it, sold for twenty five dollars plus shipping. Uh, down here in A5, sold an Orvis shirt, I think this is it. Yep. Uh, sold this one. I got this at Goodwill for four bucks. Sold this one for ten dollars plus shipping. All right, I have this uh, vintage. Uh, it's a Nike windbreaker. I got this at a yard sale for a dollar. Uh, I have this going out for seventeen dollars and five cents plus shipping. All right, I got another one of these uh, Dale Earnhardt Senior Funko Pops. Got this retail arbitrage. And Walmart for a little over $8. This one sold for $21 free shipping. All right, finally sold this sleeping bag here. It's a vintage sleeping bag. I, mm -hmm. I got this at Goodwill for $6, uh, but it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right. I got a bunch of these uh, random hockey cards. Uh, there's nothing really worthwhile in here. Uh, but yeah, got them a goodwill for four bucks. Definitely lost money on it. Uh, sold it for nine or one ninety nine plus shipping. Then we got over here is a drum pedal of some kind. Uh, got it's a goodwill. I think I paid like three dollars, maybe six dollars, something like that. But it sold for twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Then we've got another Nautica hat going out of, out of this thing this at a state sale last summer uh, I paid two bucks for it sold this one for nine dollars plus shipping over here in D5 uh, I got one of these I think this is it right here this is one of my old collections here uh, I just found it I figure I'm really not displaying it may as well sell it but this sold for eighteen dollars plus shipping and over here in A5 I've got a Twilight book. It's a big hardback book. I got it at Goodwill. I think I paid a quarter for it. Uh, they're not worth very much at all. This one sold for $1.99 plus shipping. All right, so first thing going out, I sold another one of these new Swell uh, water bottles. I got these, I got a whole bunch of them uh, at a yard sale. I'm into these for about two bucks a piece, I think, somewhere around there. Uh, but I sold this for $18 plus shipping. Over here in L, I have a Junior's Baseball Equipment Bag. I got these retail arbitrage at Walmart. Uh, I paid a little over two bucks for it. Uh, this sold for $17 free shipping. This should only cost me about five bucks to ship. Uh, so I made about $10 profit on this. Okay, over here in E, I have a Carhartt t-shirt going out. I think this might be it right here. Uh, 
I got this at a yard sale for a dollar and it's sold for nine dollars plus shipping. Then the last item going out here in the cube <clears throat> is one of these uh, iPad cases. I got this free uh, from my brother-in-law. He got them really cheap at Walmart. I don't remember how much he said he paid for them. I think like a couple bucks. But he picked them up. He's like, I thought you could sell these. I'm like, well, I'll give it a shot. So this one sold for $9 plus shipping. All right, I just sold one more water bottle out of here. And it's a purple one. This is it here. This is it here. This guy here. So again, I was in for these for $2.40 each. Sold it for $16.99 plus shipping. All right, we got a old shirt going out. D here, and this is it right here. Uh, it's a vintage polo. Uh, it's pretty cool. Let's see if we can see the graphic on it. No, we can't. But it's like a vintage Scottish Arms something polo shirt. Uh, it sold for fifteen dollars, free shipping. All right, then we've got a hat that should be in this box. Find there it is. I really, I thought this was a pretty cool hat. I thought it was going to sell a lot faster because it looks pretty much in brand new condition. Uh, Dos Primos Tequila. Got this at Goodwill for two bucks. Sold it for $13.49 plus shipping. And then we got over here an E. If I can do this without causing a disaster here. There it is right on top. We have a vintage. Uh, it's Harley Davidson t-shirt, single stitch. I got this at a yard sale for a dollar. Sold it for $15 plus shipping. All right, way up here in double E, I sold these hair care products. There's one, there's two, and a third one here. There we go. Uh, but I sold three of these. Let me get my hair over and see them a little bit better. I sold three of these. Uh, I probably got a little over a dollar into each of them, um, but these hold for nine dollars plus shipping. These three. All right, we have some Beanie Babies going out in here. Uh, I don't really pick up Beanie Babies a lot. Uh, unless I can get them real cheap, and the holiday ones seem to do pretty good. So we got some Halloween ones going out. Uh, paid a buck each for these at a yard sale. Sold them for $9 plus shipping. Then we have this brand new Monopoly game. I got this at Walmart for retail arbitrage. I think I paid 25 bucks for it. At the time, they were selling like hotcakes on eBay. But mine sat for a while. Uh, probably the whole saturated market thing happened. No big deal, though. I sold it for $40 free shipping. It's probably going to cost me right under 10 bucks to ship. Uh, so... Yeah, I didn't make very much money on this. Maybe five bucks if I'm lucky. Got to be careful with that kind of stuff. All right, so I just picked these up this past weekend. This is my second go around selling these things. And I'm telling you, man, these things go super fast. So I sold one to somebody. Uh, I got all these for a dollar each at a yard sale just this past weekend. I sold this one for $18 free shipping. It's under $4 to ship these. And then I sold two more to somebody else for $40. So again, dollar into each of these. I sold these two for $40, free shipping. And we have another one of these water bottles going out. I think this is right here. Let me double check. Oh, no, I think it's supposed to be purple. That's it, no. That's it, that's the one. So this guy here, like a little purple kind of design on it, I don't know. I got these, uh, I bought a whole bunch of them, 25 of them. Uh, I'm into this for $2.40. I sold it for $18 plus shipping. And up here in Double D, I sold a hat. I can do this without making a giant avalanche. I think we can. This Yale hat, uh, I got it at Goodwill. I oh, told empty, I need to put some stuff in there. Got it at Goodwill for two bucks. Uh, went back and forth with somebody, made an offer. Uh, it's top of the world, it's a really nice hat. Uh, but they got a pretty good deal on it. They got it for $9 plus shipping. 
right down in A7. I sold an old Bert from Bert and Ernie. There he is. Oh, I got this at Goodwill for 50 cents. Uh, still new with the tags, vintage. I don't know what the year is on it. Uh, uh, 1993. Uh, but yeah, so sold him, bought him for 50 cents. Sold him for 9.99 plus shipping. All right, first item we have going out are these three books here. Uh, I got this in the huge lot of those Magna type anime books. Don't let this stay right there. Uh, but I sold that whole. A uh, bucket of books for like 90 bucks. I paid $10 for it at a garage sale. Uh, these books were in it. I sold these separately for $15 plus shipping. I also sold some other books, I think, for under $10 out of that. So out of a $10 buy at a garage sale, I ended up making over $100 on it. So that's pretty good. But yeah, these are $15 plus shipping. All right, then we got this Kate Spade book. Uh, we got this at Goodwill. My wife actually found it. Uh, we paid, I think, a buck for it. I don't think we paid any more than that. Maybe two dollars, but I think it was a dollar. Sold it for fourteen forty nine plus shipping. Okay. Lastly, I have a few items here that I sold that I did not get video of. Uh, I have this old trapper keeper here. I got this at Goodwill. I think it was for three dollars. I sold it for nineteen ninety nine plus shipping. This uh, Sun Pack tripod. Got this at Goodwill for I think it was six dollars. I sold it for $60 free shipping. Cost me somewhere around $14 to ship that. Uh, and you guys got to pick up these Guitar Hero guitars. Uh, this one was for Xbox. I bought a Goodwill for $3. Sold for $45 plus shipping. Uh, then we have my last wrestling buddy here. This was mine whenever I was a kid. This is Macho Man Randy Savage. I sold him for $150 plus shipping. That's all I have for you guys today. As always, please like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Thanks.